So hello everyone. We would like to welcome you for our Trilogy business proposal. Trilogy restaurant vision is to specialize in gastronomy that provide a stunning dish that will surely be loved by people. And for our mission is to have all the techniques, the ingredients in the part of Asia and put it into one spe uh, amazing dish and that will surely love by the people not only in the country of Asia but also internationally. So what is the company objective and philosophy of Trilogy Business? So our objective is to introduce our cuisine in Asia and we want this cuisine to compete in a high new level and can be marketed internationally. We want also to obtain profit, of course. One objective of the company is to obtain profit and to go and to give employment to the people who really need and who wants to grow in our company. We also want we won't also tolerate uh, any misbehavior such as sexual assault, bullying, racism. So we will be discussing about the ownership and management of the business. So as you can see on your screen right now, these are the uh, owners or who will be the one managing the business. So the general manager will be the one who will take care of all the business operations from back of the house to front of the house and will make sure that the operation will flow smoothly. The executive chef will take care all the operations from back of the house and will also be responsible in creating new menu, planning the menu for any event and will take care of the training of the employees. The sous chef, uh, on the other hand, will also help uh, the executive chef in everything that he do uh, he will also be responsible in the line cooks in the line cooks if they are doing the standard operation or standard thing daily service and they will be the one responsible in the inventories of the business this is Kim I'm going to explain about our business spot before I go I want to talk about Ontario and Toronto population so, the Ontario is the largest population in Canada, which is 13 plus million. Among them, Toronto population is in charge of 40 of them, which is 6 million. So, as you, as you can see the first picture, Toronto plays in first rank. That means Toronto is the largest city in Canada. And also, population growing is the fastest in Canada. So the map is showing the GTA. So the GTA basically means Great Toronto Area. So the SWAT, which is Strength, Weakness, Opportunity, and Threat. So our weakness and threat can be new to the market and the challenge and high risk because we just started our business and we just jumping into the food industry however our strength can be specialty with familiar ingredients and cuisine opportunity is huge population operation so monday to friday we open 4 to 12 during the weekend we have one more hour, which is four to one nation holiday. We open same as Monday to Friday. So the business will close in Christmas and New Year's. Our facility is at 25 tables and patio bar counter. However, we're not offering parking lot to our guest so we will be moving on in our financial statements so in your screen right now you can see that uh this is the first month of the business operation and as we can see the net income is just so little because as we all know 
our business is a startup business so we will be like still coping up in the market coping up with the competition but as long as it's a net income it's still good like we can't we can't expect something or we can expect a business to boom immediately if you are still starting so for the next income statement this will be our third year of operation and it has this is a year year a year net income so we have a, a good income statement a good profit and it's like we 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 can have or we can expand our own business already it's like there is a plan already that we can expand our own business with this kind of net income at least we are already or we already cope up in the business or in the market competition so the main focus of the company i mean the main product of the company is fusion between the three asian cuisines that we are doing so this is a unique idea because i have been to i have been in canada for one year and i have never seen um, the gastronomic molecular gastronomic too much in canada and i think it is really unique and new because uh, no, no one has did the fusion between these three cuisines uh, filipino indian and korean so this is a really new concept and this is really good and the target market will consist of high-end working individuals because it's a fine dine restaurant so mostly people from high highly paid jobs will be coming in the in the restaurant and also because it's in uh, downtown uh, area toronto gta so we are mostly thinking of the high class people and our competition in our competition there are a lot of restaurants who have really big names and as we are just thinking and establishing new things so in the long run we are looking forward to compete with like big restaurants like allo scaramouche restaurant and o o and b restaurant and other lots of other restaurants who have the really big name in this industry and we hope we can at least go to that level and the marketing in the case of marketing we have our own account which is named as trilogy fever and uh, the company is using internet as the prom way of promotion because it's cheap as we know and it's free so we are using a social media accounts like facebook instagram and other things to market our restaurants and trilogy will also join and participate and help some of the events in toronto to get our name out in the industry and so that people know our name and also menu tastings will be held inviting food bloggers food critics chefs and certain positive possible investors will help us in uh, getting the funds for the restaurant and this way we can i hope raise some funds to get to the level we want and if the brand logo the brand logo is really simple but it explains a lot about the company as the brand logo logo is just a plate and there is like three tomatoes there those tomatoes are three different cuisines that we are combining into so there is a thought gone into the logo that these three things explain that how we are infusing three things into a simple brand and we are trying to celebrate the simplicity that even even after having three different cuisines and three different different uh, countries coming together to form a new uh, new cuisine it is really simplicity of the food that even being from different countries we can still connect with each other and we can still create something new because this is this is the simplicity of food we can create something new and we can cherish each other's culture with ease because this is the freedom that food gives us and that's why our logo is so simple and the tagline that we go by is like chase a great flavor one plate can have that means 
chasing we are chasing the flavor that one great flavor that we can offer in one plate from three different countries so that all the people from these countries can enjoy something in their plate in just one plate that will be so amazing and we are just working on it and i hope we can do our best thank you so much okay the yields plan during the three years of operation <clears throat> our manager will be well trained and also most of the employees will be professional in their work and then after three years to five years the, our manager will focus on the employees control system of the staff it including selecting training new wording and then all all the new employees in order to motivate them to provide a perfect service for our customers after five to ten years our business will increase a huge percent of the net income because of the steps are guest dining so therefore the company will give a reward program to whoever has a good performer of the year with our back of the year with our back of the kitchen and front of the kitchen and if the growth of the restaurant will continue until the fifth year of the operating business then our business will have to find another location to extension our business if it does not work until the second year of the business operation we, we our business will lead to more detailed information or change some our plans later to more better better business and in the growth strategy when our business set up the perfectly balanced with the business operation our listing will start to grow to find more franchiser or the make more restaurant in other other place otherwise if the business does not work our business will have a dissolution through the all profit make money from the selling the our product so it will be better save the money for our life our steps thank you